the graph shows y is equal to x squared divided by 1 plus x squared. So this is the graph of y is equal to x squared divided by 1 plus x squared. And x is between negative 1 and 1. So I used my graphic calculator. And I've gone from minus 2 to 2. And 1 comes somewhere here. So this is, say, 1. And the point is, say, 1, whatever that point is. At this point, what they're saying is the gradient of the tangent is half. The gradient of the tangent is half or 0 0.5. OK. So well, the gradient at the point when x is equal to 1 is 0 0.5. Hence, show that there is a point with x between quarter and half where the gradient is 0 0.5. OK, so now let's first find dy by dx. So to find dy by dx, we have to use the product, uh, no, the quotient rule. So the quotient rule says differentiate the top or the numerator, so that is 2x times the denominator, which is 1 plus x squared, minus uh, the derivative of the denominator is 2x times the numerator, times x squared, divided by the denominator squared, which is 1 plus x squared, the whole squared. This is the quotient rule. So let's simplify this. So we can say divide by dx is equal to, this is 2x. I'm not writing, OK, let me write that, plus 2x cubed. 2x cubed minus 2x cubed divided by 1 plus x squared, the whole squared. So what gets cancelled is 2x plus 2x cubed and minus 2x gets cancelled. So what remains is dy by dx, the gradient of this function is, is 2x over 1 plus x squared, the whole squared, I left there. It's 1 plus x squared, the whole squared. OK, so what they're saying is the gradient when x is 1 of this function is half. So let's confirm that. So we have to just substitute dy by dx when x is half when x is 0 0.5, also let me write half. It would be 2 times half is 1, plus, sorry, 2 times 1 is not 1, 2 times 1 is 2. Sorry, no, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm getting confused. So x is 1, when x is 1, not half. When x is 1, the gradient is half, that's what we are saying. When x is 1, your gradient is half. So I was going the other way around. So when x is 1, the gradient is half. So put 1 here, so 2 times 1 is 2, divided by 1 plus 1 squared is 1 plus 1, 2 squared. So which is 2 quarters, which is 1 half. So the gradient when x is 1, is half. So that's what we said, and that's what's given. I just confirmed it. So what they're saying is there should be a point between between uh, x a quarter and a half, where again the gradient is half. OK, so let's find the gradient divided by dx when x is equal to a quarter. So let me put that as 0 0.24. So this would become what? This is 2 times 0 0.5, 0 0.25, 0 0.5 divided by, this is 1 plus 0 0.25 is 0 point, so let me write 0 0.25 squared, the whole squared. And now let me use my calculator. So. So let me go to the run menu and type in 
divided by 1 plus 0 0.25 squared oh I have to go slowly 0 0.5 divided by at times I go very fast 1 plus 0 0.25 squared close the bracket again squared is 0 0.4429 okay so the gradient when x is 0 0.25 is 0 0.4429 4429 and what's the gradient divided by dx when x is equal to half when x is 0 0.5 okay so this would be what so two times your gradient function is 2x so two times half is 1 plus 1 plus 0 0.5 squared the whole squared which is equal to okay so again let's cancel this and break so it's 1 divided by 1 plus 0 0.5 squared the whole squared which is 0 0.64 so what what are we saying so if the gradient when x is 0 0.25 is 0 0.4429 and the gradient when x is equal to 0 0.5 is 0 0.64 there should be a point between these two values when your gradient is 0 0.25 sorry 0 0.5 so this implies uh, there is a point there is a point for X for X between a quarter and a half where your gradient where dy over dx is again going to be half is again going to be half and that's what we have proved so I'll, let me show this on a graphic calculator so I already so if you go to table and what I've done is I have written the function I have set my I've set, started from 0 to 2 and a step of 0.25 and then if you go to uh, table I also uh, uh, this is a divide by dx I went to shift setup and turn the derivative on and then if you go to table so can you see at point 0.25 when x is point 0.25 it's 4429 at point 0.5 it is 0.64 that means between point 0.25 and point 0.5 there is a point where the gradient is 0.5 and if you go to 1 you have got the gradient of 